Nice. All right, back with the backwards rider. All right, so I'm just a little bit out of breath. I'm just getting off of the streets, and you know, I, this is not gonna keep happening. You know, the police or the so-called authorities, the cops, they feel they feel that they are the authority, but really, it's just a job, and they're acting on behalf of a of a, 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 a regime or whatever you call it, a political party. And so, if you're you might have some disagreements with uh, the cops here and there on your bicycle, but I tell you, uh, you know, just to give you some comfort and to encourage you, I'm here riding my bicycle backwards, and as some of you know, that's how I get around. That's how I live, for heaven's sakes. If I can't get through in traffic uh, safely, I'm not going to do it, and it's already unsafe uh, in the first place. So here I am leaving to go off to work, uh, riding my bicycle backwards, of course, because nothing is going to change at least not in this time, lifetime uh, and so I, I'm pushing off to my maneuver and I, I see two policemen on their bicycles on the sidewalk I guess they're trying to knit and pick with the natives and as they, they are used to, we're used to hearing about that stuff and so he, he seems like he wants to come after me as I'm pushing off onto the busy road trying to keep my attention on the road for cars and just for even what's behind me and he's talking to me and of course it's a little distraction but you know not too much of a distraction that I can't at least take a quick glance while he's trying to talk to me and I'm riding my bicycle backwards he, he kind of yells out loud enough so I can hear oh rec reckless driving and so you know what I, I, I am not going to be muscled down and you will you guys will not continue to do that and make me feel like I'm doing a reckless driving first of all learn to speak I am riding a bicycle I am pedaling I am pedaling a bicycle with gears so you know what you can take your your reckless driving on the highway take it to the to those reckless drivers who have a steering wheel and not a handlebar um so for those of you who are having trouble uh you know you're, you're on a flimsy bicycle for heaven's sakes the, the moment somebody starts to talk to you if you're if it's not you initiating it then it becomes sort of a kind of a distraction so if i were to continue talking with that police officer and responding to him and you know, I, I just yelled back, man, I'm on my way to work, I'm going to work. And that, that was good enough, I'm still rolling and I'm not stopping. And, uh, you know, I see a lot of biases there, you know. You know, when, when they're on their way to work, I mean, who stops them and, you know, what do they care? You know, they're on their way to work. It's like, in Mr. Invincible, Mrs. Invincible. You know, that, that's just not going to cut it. You know, we also go to work and we are also under a boss, some of us. So, you know, that's totally not fair that you have your attitude of, oh, I'm a cop, I'm stopping you, so that's too bad. Well, we, we all don't agree with that. And maybe most Canadians do, but there's uh, small pockets of us here and there where, you know, just as much as you like your job and you want to be on it, and so, so are we. And uh, we seem to be the, the underprivileged, it feels like, at some time, because uh, maybe we're not a cop, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's enough venting, you know, so I've, I've uh, vented enough, and, you know, I'm, I'm still in good spirits, but I'm not going to let nobody stop me or wreck my day. You know what, if you're, if you're, if you're living upright into, into the, the, the laws that really, the laws of nature, you know, and you really feel like you're living in an honest and genuine life, you should continue with and more power to you. You know, there's no such thing as breaking laws if there is none. If you make up those laws, new laws, you know what? Those who agree to abide by them, they can abide by them. Um, I believe that I'm, I've lived in Canada long enough to know that, you know what? Well, unfair is unfair and you know when you think you can muscle people down and tell them to do what you want and control them it doesn't really work that way if it was an issue of uh, you know like reckless riding which I never do you know then fine um, you might see uh, me and my buddy or my buddies are uh, uh, just enjoying that, that the flair of just being free on the street with no cars around and it's just empty and so that's 
it's all about road so we need to see that road okay so mr officer you know you just need to you know tend to crimes you know and we're talking about where the tax dollars you know as most felt in people's pockets that's where they would like to see you uh, you know uh, in the neighborhood uh, upholding those bylaws enough enough of that bicycle infractions and tickets we have enough problems in our life and we don't need more we're gonna keep on listening to some music as we jostle the blood and get it ready for the next uh, outdoor on the road excursion so i'll see you cyclists on the road and you know you gotta learn to stick up for not one another and the way how we do that is just uh by gawking so if you see a, a fellow cyclist being given a hard time by a a, a motorist or, or you know the authorities uh you know just notice and just keep an eye on the situation and just make sure that you you witness and you see what's going on and maybe even walk over to, to get a little bit of the inside from the uh, the maybe so-called victim and uh, see what they hear what they are saying you know it might that information might come in handy to us so there you go um, back to listening to some wicked music rhythm and track with inner circle junior reader sing blood the run to what stop it so it's almost coming up to two years um, ever since uh, since the backwards rider fitness uh, started um, we started actually I started on this awesome journey of unfoldment um, and so this was August uh, 2009 and it was on the, the 12th and that day was uh, the day um, I would say of uh, just really um, something new and with something new you know you always get a kind of twist to that newness and it's, it feels like a, a, a new life a new take on life from a different perspective and for those of you in the area um, that know about my story, you know I've I've shared it time and time again. <laughs> for people who just ask me uh, why why do I do it, and uh, you know, I would like to be very clear about why I do it and why I will continue to do it, and uh, you know, and uh, because not only do I enjoy it, but I just think that it's um it's it's a chance for me to heal myself, which I. You know, heal myself from all the ills of uh, you know the environment I guess just uh, take my mind of negative uh, you know vibes and it really does that for me so that's just me uh, healing myself when you see me uh, literally taking up the handlebars in my hand and just pedaling um, sometimes with out no hands I'll pedal just because I need a break off of that position and and uh, it is therapy you, you know you'll hear us say that it is therapy it is exercise it is not reckless driving um, if it was reckless uh, driving <laughs> obviously people uh, would be complaining about the fact that oh there's this guy he's uh, he's just riding recklessly and this person got hurt and that person got hurt you know there's not one case and no one in Toronto can say that so um, for those of you who, who know about um, riding because you do it every day you know what it's like to be on the road and we don't need to be you know just shoved off to the side like a, as if we're nothing uh, if you're the only cyclist on the road and you see a car coming up behind you or something like that you know what basically what you need to do is you you, you need to feel comfortable in the middle of the road because you know, we don't want to anticipate being hurt. There's enough lanes, and that car can simply, just like how they see another car in front of them and they want to pass, they just go around. You know, so if it's a cyclist, they just need to do the same thing, and we don't need a, a honking of horns as if we just need to be a little bit more closer to the curb so this gas car can pass by. No cyclists you need to step up and you need to ride in the middle of the road because often there's there's holes in 
near the curb and the unevenness of the curb to the road sometimes you know you're not paying attention you look at you're looking ahead and there's only so much paying attention you can do riding in the middle of the road kind of gives you this safety of the fact that it's all road and there's no inconsistencies uh, there's no uh, you know there's no one um, coming stepping off the curb so that if for a quick second if you're looking left this you're, you're gonna bump them with your handlebars or something like that for heaven's sakes uh, even when there's parked cars on the road I think a cyclist should ride in the middle of the road and um, to avoid those that stretch of car that you see from one block to the next you know what do we got to do like keep on looking to see if uh, a door is going to fly open that's not safe riding so you need to ride in the middle of the road and try it for a block and if you see a car coming just I guess if you're in the middle of the road and there's parked cars just I guess squeeze in a little bit let the car pass and you go back in the middle of the road you know it, it seems like a bother but you know trust me just for a few uh, for at least 10 seconds or 15 seconds at a time if, if you're a forward uh, riding uh, cyclist you can just look back and just take that liberty it, it's there's nothing wrong with that and that's just life okay so and you backwards riders you backwards riders the ones that are on the bike uh, there's maybe not even a handful in Toronto that I can see uh, you know a mirror of but um you guys got an advantage of looking back because there is no car that can sneak up behind you now that you have a better view while you travel it's really and totally up to you to just look behind you because it's it would be your fault if you never looked every now and then to see that pothole that you're gonna ride into there's no one around to blame so that's just one <laughs> aspect of it now you can continue to ride your bicycle backwards of course um, if you know how and if you only do it safely and you, you actually prevent accidents and from happening then I, I would actually um, your hats off to you and I would love to at least hear from you if you're at least uh, in the middle of training or are uh, you've already started or maybe you're just thinking about it and you're getting your bike ready so here is your support um, backwards rider fitness training power program where you can just listen in and even call upon us for some advice and uh, while you train on the, on the back streets uh, it's it's not really a good idea to train on the main streets where the traffic are, you know, until you're, uh, uh, I guess, uh, uh, you've advanced yourself to that level, you know, I would suggest that you just train on the back streets. So that's it for now. We'll get back to some music with Max Romeo and Upseta with Naman.